Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon. Today we're going to be taking a look at two of my favorite handguns, the Glock 19, this is a Gen 5, and the CZ-75D PCR. This is the compact alloy frame version of the CZ-75. Now, before we get started, I know everybody knows I like CZs, but that being said, let me just say I cut my teeth on Glocks. Uh, a Gen 3 Glock 19 was what really got me into handgun shooting. That's what I shot my first USPSA match with was a Gen 3 Glock 19. So I really have a love for Glocks as well, and I shoot them well. I shoot a Glock well, I shoot a CZ well, so I don't think this is going to be a biased comparison, even though I've converted more to CZs now, especially in the competitive shooting uh, era. But I really like Glock, I really like CZ. These two guns are very similar in a lot of ways and very different in a lot of ways. Of course, you know, this Glock is a standard striker fired polymer framed handgun. This is considered one of the most desirable sizes. It's not too large to conceal carry. It's not too small to make it hard to shoot. It fits the hand well. So Glock 19 is very sought out as far as the size goes. Well, it just so happens this CZ-75D compact is also around that same size. So just to show you, let me see if I can get them lined up here. Line the top of the slides up, you can see, hopefully, you can see the CZ grip does stick out just a little bit. Not a whole lot with the top of the slides lined up. Not a whole, whole lot of difference there. Not a lot of difference in the top of the slides either. Now you'll see the Glock barrel is actually longer and that's what the back of the slides lined up. Now, if I was to scoot this all the way in to where the beaver tails would line up, now it looks, you know, the overall length this way is probably longer on the CZ just because of the hammer and the beaver tail. So this is slightly larger and this is an alloy frame, whereas the Glock is a polymer frame. So that's all in what you like. Hammer fired, double action, single action. This does have the decocker, which I like for a carry gun. I carry this quite a bit. And you know, one of the big perks to me, yeah, Glock has the interchangeable back straps, which I mean, that can help some people. But to me, being able to change your grip panels to suit your needs is a little bit more effective as far as filling out your grip, getting it to more what you want, as opposed to just a back strap. I don't think you can change anything this way. I don't know of anything you could put on the back strap of these to increase your length this way, but uh, it is what it is. So that being said, both have aftermarket sights on them, not sights, of course, because they're carry guns. The width is really not much different in the slides. This one, the Glock looks wider because it's flat on the top, so just to the eye, it looks like it's gonna be a little wider. But when you actually get to the width of the slide and the frame down here, they're really, really similar. Uh, controls stick off just a little bit more on the CZ-75. That's, I mean, if you like that, that's great, but it does add a little bit of width. Weight-wise, even having an alloy frame versus a polymer frame, there's really not a lot of difference. So we'll talk about the mags a little bit. This is the factory mag that came with the CZ-75D, and this is a 14 round mag. However, most of your aftermarket mags for it are 15 rounds, and this is what I carry in it. Never had any problems with these mags, but that is a 15 round mag, whereas your Glock is also a 15 round mag. So uh, another similarity is the Glock 19 will accept 17 round mags from the Glock 17 or 33 round mags. And the 75 is kind of the same as it can accept the full size 75 magazines, which are 16, 17 rounds as well. They do stick out at the bottom of the handgun, just like the Glock 19 does with a 17 round mag, but it will accept them. So there's another similarity. But other than that, they're kind of similar in the size, capacity, the weight. Uh, it's just two different mechanics as far as how they fire. 
I know fitting my hand, I, a lot of people say the Glock feels like a brick to them. It doesn't to me, it feels good, but I have big old paws, so it feels fine. Even the Gen 4, Gen 3s with the finger grooves felt fine to me, even though my fingers didn't fit inside the grooves. It still felt fine. Now the CZ, all the CZs just naturally feel better in my hand. I've said that for years that a CZ grip feels like that you took a block of clay, squeezed the clay, and then they took that block of clay and made a grip out of it. So it just fits your hand that well. So without further ado, I think I'm just gonna load up some mags, take some shots with it, just kind of go back and forth, which is not something you really wanna do as far as getting better with hitting the targets, going back and forth between guns, but that's what I wanna do anyways, and we'll see what you all think. All right, so I'm loaded up. I even painted the targets for you all, which is something I don't do a whole lot, so special treat for you guys. We'll start out with the CZ-75, got the 14 round mag. I'm gonna start out from a decock position, just like you're supposed to if you were carrying it. So that way you're not giving any all single action trigger advantages to this over the Glock. So load up. Not too shabby. Grab the Glock. I don't know, seems like I shot that Glock maybe a little bit quicker than I did the CZ. Uh, I've shot a lot of Glocks. I like shooting CZs too though, so let's not just do it on one test run. Let's load up and try again. Oh, real quick, just to prove reliability, I'm just running this cheap old Wolf steel case stuff. I mean, reliability is not a thing that I've had to worry about with either one of these firearms, 100% reliable. I know the Glocks are a little bit more notorious for a weak wrist or a limp wrist issue, but I've not had that problem. I've, I've seen it a couple times with my girl out here shooting, but she's not shot a lot and she's kind of a smaller woman. So, but she didn't have any problems with the CZ on that. So maybe, maybe that's a, a benefit, I don't know. But either way, let's load up and try it again. All right, got the mags loaded up here. I'm gonna shoot the Glock first this time and then the CZ second. Maybe I just needed to warm up, I don't know. So we'll do them in the reverse order, see how it goes. So I shot a little slower there towards the end just because I was going for those smaller targets. But I mean, shooting the larger targets, I can move pretty quick to the CZ. I don't know. You all have to let me know which one you think I shot better. Cause to me, they both feel great. I feel like maybe I can control the recoil a little bit better with the Glock 19, just because of the bore axis. The way that I hold it with my grip, that's how low that bore is right here to my hand. Whereas with the CZ, when I hold it here high into the beaver tail that I can, that bore is quite a bit higher over top of my hand than it is with the Glock. So I think get a little bit more muzzle rise 
with the CZ than with the Glock. So maybe that aids me in follow-up shots with the Glock 19. I don't know. I haven't watched the footage. You have. Let me know in the comments what you all thought. So, what would we be doing if we didn't take a couple long shots? Which I haven't painted that target. We throw a couple rounds in each mag and then we'll try for the bomb. All right, so it's hard to see, but it's up there somewhere. 80 yards, uh, it's a 12 inch plate, 80 yards. It's no Hickok gong, it's not big old gong, 80 yards away, it's a tiny one. It's a lot harder to see and, from your all's perspective and hit from mine. So I got five rounds loaded in each. I do think this is probably where the CZ may shine a little bit if I can get my point aim, point of impact correct, because it does have a better trigger. There's just the single action trigger. There's no, no way to say that the Glock trigger compares. So let's try her. See if I can get my hold right. Ah, just left. Shot just to the left and just under. I'll shoot the first one double action just to be fair. So just want to reiterate, I love both of these guns. I really like both of these guns. I'm trying my hardest not to be biased because like I said, I don't want either one of them to come out a loser. I like both of them. Matter of fact, I'm probably not even going to declare one a winner or a loser. And before we go much further, I know somebody in the comments, which I've had the comments before, talking about my trigger slap. I shoot different than most people. I have what is called a controlled slap kind of trigger that's just the way that i shoot it's the way i've always shot i don't necessarily shoot off of a reset but that's the way i shoot and i do okay with it i could probably do better if i train differently but i'm this far into the game i'm not changing anything so if you see trigger slap you can call it out if you want to but i know it's there it's the way i shoot all right second off i'm going to say if you bought either one of these guns for concealed carry, target shooting, even competition, if that's what you wanted to do, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with either. It's gonna come down to what feels better in your hand and if you want a striker fired handgun or if you want a hammer with a double action decock, double action, single action trigger, if that's what you prefer. This is, I know it's an apples versus oranges, but they are so different yet so similar that I thought, yeah, why not compare the two? So if you get a chance, go check out my Instagram page. If you wanna communicate with me, it's a lot easier for me to communicate on Instagram via direct messages. I'll answer my direct messages over there. YouTube doesn't really give that feature. So if you're just viewing and you're not, you don't have a YouTube account, so you can't subscribe, can't comment, go to my YouTube or my Instagram channel. I'll put a link below, go check that out. I post a lot of upcoming stuff and pictures and a little bit more personal stuff over there anyways. So go check that out. But that's about all I got for you on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.